Pike vs. The Automaton by Pike vs. The Automaton. If I were to sum up my first impression of this band, it would be high on fire with more melody. Matt Pike, lead guitarist of Sleep and founder of High on Fire, has produced this solo project album, which is absolutely amazing. Pike's voice is instantly recognisable to High on Fire fans, but this album is not just a repetition of the past, but a bit more experimentation and variety here, and enough to distinguish it from any of Pike's early work. Now, don't get me wrong, Pike does still sound like Pike, and the music does sound a lot like his past work. Pike vs. The Automaton is saved by the inclusion of a few surprises. The album starts quickly with little build-up straight into the dirty and fuzzy metal guitars and signature voice that Pike is known for. Listening to Abusive and Throat Cobra, you may think that this is essentially a new HOF album, though I personally found these songs more consistent in quality than some of his previous works. Lots of lovely shredding solos and variation you'd normally not get in his previous works. This album feels like Pike was able to let loose and play around a bit. First big surprise comes in the form of track 5, Land, a straight up acoustic blues number that is deliciously dirty and emotional, and is one of those things I never knew I needed in a stoner album until now. Very next track, Alien Slut Mum, picks the old HOF formula back up, kicks it about, whips it, and thoroughly abuses it, and it's sexy as fuck. You can hear the difference in effort put in the composition, and the effects used complement the rest of the instrumentals really well. The last four tracks vary. Apollyon and Latin American Geological Formation are both excellent additions to the arsenal, and hit with the same intensity the rest of the album boasts. Leaving the Wars of Woe feels more like traditional High on Fire, but still with enough thrown in to set it apart, and a slightly more blues feel at times. The one song that I was disappointed with is Acid Test Zone. The instrumentals are good, but the vocals have been mixed in such a way that I almost expected to see the raw black metal tag somewhere on the Bandcamp page. The sound that Pike is trying to emulate with this song is pretty on point, but unfortunately, it was not a sound worth emulating in the first place. While the attempt at something new is appreciated, I think it brings the album down a notch. The song is still enjoyable if you don't mind the vocals, however. Overall, this album is worth a listen for any stoner or Doom fans. Whether you want more Pike or just more Doom, this album was worth me accidentally pre-ordering it because I didn't read it properly before spending money on it. 5 out of 6. 